My luggage just started to close up. Oh, it happened on the way down to the seats. It happened before you even got there. All my windpipes started to shut down. Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16 slash 17. We have our special guests for today. Hi mom. Hi. Hi dad. And today we have a very special day planned. We are going to watch our sister cheer in an LA Bowl game. Oh, her daughter, my sister. We're going to a brunch first. Love you, Hannah. We'll see you soon. We just got here and I got tacos. What did you get, mom? I got mulitas. <laughs> that looks fantastic and they tied this way too tight. It's suffocating my blood flow. So we finished that and my mom stole three pom-poms because she got a little <laughs> intoxicated. How are you feeling, mom? A little busty. <laughs> I mean, am I supposed to say that? <laughs> I can't believe you got that. <laughs> Okay, where are we off to next, Mama? We're <laughs> off to the stadium, baby. We're off to the so stadium. Go stadium. Go, go, go to the game. We are meeting up with Carter and my girlfriend there, so I'm excited to see both of them because we just sat out of a brewery and talked to strangers for a while, so I'm burnt out. Are we ready to go? We are. Does everyone Woo -woo. have their seatbelts on? Yes, Put y'all seatbelts on. We have arrived at SoFi Stadium. How are the spirits, everyone? Woo my mom is trying to figure out a way to transfer the tickets to Carter and my girlfriend, but I'm over here babysitting a cactus. Hello, little owl. All right, my mom figured it out. Out, I was very helpful sitting on the ground. We're heading towards the torso. Carter's here. I was a band kid in a past life. I found something better than the game today. Oh, men torso. Update, I had no idea it was going to be this much walking, so I'm having it as bad like episode. Our players look like little Cheeto packets. I think the score is going to be 24 to 3. Mom, what do you think the score is going to be? I don't know, but I think we're going to win. <laughs> Carter, what's the score gonna be? Score's gonna be 55 to 23 because those are random numbers that I pulled out of my hand. What do you think the score is gonna be, girlfriend? Um, no, it's pink lemonade. 40 to 52. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Defense, I get it. Defense. I love the way she vibrates the sign. Yes! Yeah. Yay, she's been up there for a long time. Yeah, we're not allowed to do that. What? Because we only do it to the enemies. He's so talented. Wow. He's stroking it. Life update, my girlfriend has never had a hot dog, so she's gonna try one. Can you bite the tip off? Bite the tip off? I want mustard on my tip. Alright, there you go. Don't be scared. Do you love it? You don't like it? I'm trying to tell what kind of meat it tastes like. I think it's like its own species of meat. I don't like it. That's okay, I have good news for you. You never have to have one ever again. Girl. My girlfriend got cheese fries and I got a Mountain Dew. Carl, get away. Is it like nacho cheese? I don't know. I'm scared. I didn't want that one, so I gave it to you. Thank you. The ice in this cup is amazing. And today's Palm Prom Improv is featuring Carter Kent. Show us your moves. Oh my gosh. I'm getting extensions. Oh wow. Well. Oh, you look closely in the distance. Oh my gosh, you can actually see her. Oh, oh, there yeah. he is. Oh. Oh, I can see oh. Let's go, boy team. Yeah. Team spirit. Oh no. For the first time in the game, we're losing. I forgot this was in my hair. This is how you stay awake during whole hours of the night. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not good. I can't tell which one's here. Oh wait, is that her? Oh, hey. She's so nice. We took a little pit stop to see a horse. And a dog. <laughs> Yeah. That is unfortunately not the outcome we were looking for for Boise State this season. Oh my god, chicken. But you know what outcome we did get? Love. And lots of it. And warm bread. So like, what was your highlight of the day? I was about to ask you that question. Like, that was the question I was gonna speak out of my mouth <laughs> after I shoved my fries down my throat. It's almost like we finish each other's sandwiches. sandwiches. Jinx. Again. Again. The highlight of my day was seeing my little sister and she always just seems to be in her happy place when she's cheering So that was really nice and lovely. I'm in my happy place when I'm eating bread. Is that your highlight of the day? No, my highlight of the day. What did we do today? You ate popcorn. Oh my gosh There was this bomb popcorn there. It didn't even feel like popcorn. It kind of felt like air. I devoured it I enjoy spending time with this family. It makes me feel like I'm adopted. You are adopted. Your parents signed over the rights to us last week Surprise. No way. My other highlight of the day was when we were winning. I really do enjoy watching sports unravel and it seems like every time you watch them, it's different. 
No. It really makes it fun. I want to be the game sometimes. Like imagine if you're the football and you're just like, no, I don't want to go on the field goal. I feel like just like that because a bunch of men are trying to tackle you. And that's when I stop you because I really do just enjoy the love from the team. The team is men. Yeah, okay. Should we do the rose thorn and bud? I think we should. Maddie, what is your rose of December 16th? Gronk singing the national anthem. <laughs> I, I was trying to hear his voice and I couldn't tell if he was the super low guy or the super high pitch. There was no one he in between. He was screaming. Oh, we know. My thorn was that. We lost, obviously. Is that really your thorn? Not your deteriorating health? Oh, my thorn? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta keep you in check. So what happened was, I, my lungs just put it away. My lungs have been not great as of late. That rhymed, and I am from Chicago O'Hare. Moving forward, my dad gave me my inhaler on my way out the door, and he was like, hey, you're gonna need this for the game. And I was like, you know what, you're so right. I always think that I don't need it, and then I do. And so I brought it in the car, and I put it in the car, and we got there, and I left it in the car. On the way in, within 20 minutes, I knew it was going downhill so fast. My lungs just started to close up. Oh, it happened on the way down to the seats. It happened before you even got there. Is that why you went on Grandma Honors? Yeah, I could not breathe. My lungs just started to close up. All my windpipes started to shut down. All of the oil between the joints became... <laughs> I didn't realize it was like severe. Unlubricated. And then sitting there was fine, but the walk back to the car was brutal. Well, I remember. Every time you were trying to talk, it was like almost impaled. Impaired? Impaired. There we go. By like... <gasps> You know? Little Mr. Albuterol saves the day. Every day. So that sucked. Just because it's like when, when you can't breathe, it's kind of annoying. So good. Mm. I like get it. As someone who doesn't have asthma, but someone who like sympathizes. But, like I get it. I know what it feels like to be like, because there's like been a couple times where I like tape my mouth shut or something. Or you ingest a peanut. When I ingest peanuts. Great example. Thank you for bringing that up. It's just crazy how like I'll literally feel inches away from my deathbed and like on the verge of passing out and I'll hit this once and it'll just all the pain and pleasure gone away. I mean, that's definitely specifically what it's designed for. And then my bud. Oh, watching sports. Every time I like start to watch it, I start to get like more and more into it. Like today when we scored that like final touchdown, I was on my feet before I even realized I was vertical. We high-fived like 25 times. That was so exciting. I was so into it. I know. You know what sport I think you could actually really get into? Water polo. No. I'd see their legs wiggling under the water and I wouldn't be able to take them seriously. Carter, Ken, what was your rose, bud, and thorn today? Mm, my rose. I loved waking up at 12 p.m. It's one of my favorite things in this world. You have a good day because you're just so energized. And then I ate a flatbread pizza. That pepperoni pizza did something to me. It looked fantastic. That was a runner-up. Then, looking up at the screens throughout the game whenever they put it on crowd, even though it was never me and I wanted it to be me, but was yeah. that your thorn? I think my thorn was not making it on the crowd screens. He was going hard every time with his pom poms. He had a special move he would do every time I to try to get the attention. Where it just really does make you look like you're a helicopter. Thank you for the sounds. Yeah. But they always chose the cute kids instead of me. I can have snot coming out of my mouth too. I'm gonna have to say my bud, my best bud, but a bud bud. I kinda wanna open a chicken farm. Will you slaughter all the chickens? No, we're organic. Where you slaughter all the chickens after a certain point? Like, can't you just kinda wait till a chicken dies and then use its meat? Is that not what organic chicken is? Alexa, can you use dead chicken meat? Cooked chicken meat is generally considered to be safe to eat. Always contact a healthcare professional. Okay, Alexa, thank you for your time. Absolutely, happy to help. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Girl. She's always been too much lately. She gives you a whole monologue before signing off. The second off. you're nice to her, she extends the welcome. Alexa, thank my driver. Pardon me? We'll share your thanks with our delivery partner, UPS. You know what? He did wave to me. Because I was like staring at him peering like a creeper through our freaking shades. What Crap. Came? Oh, I don't know. A massive box that says fragile and I don't know what's in it. What was my bad? Honestly? No, like I'm getting there. I can feel it. Oh the my gosh, look. My bread has a butt crack. Oh, I know what it is. I had these pom-poms that weren't real logistical pom-poms, but were kind of makeshift get you through the game pom-poms. I want to order some real authentic ones and I want to try and learn a cheer dance and see if I can shake it like all of those girls out on the field today. You can call it what you want, but I call it art. This has the same energy as when you ordered tap shoes, used them once, annoyed everyone for a week, and then never touched them again. Okay, let me live. Oh, I, I do let you live. You know where they live? In our dungeon. In the storage room, next to my roller skates. At least you use them. I never use my roller skates. You have roller skates? Yeah, girl. Are they next to the boxing gloves? Neighbors. Neighbors. Distant? Close. Probably bond over the fence that I never touched either of them. Anywho, no matter what happens, at the end of the day, we're all proud of you, Boise football players and cheerleader gals and mm -hmm. lads. Yeah, why are you so excited? When you're done, I'm gonna say something. And thank you so much for joining me on day 16 of Vlogmas. I appreciate you being here. You're a blessing. We're the curse. I'll see you next time. Proceed. And good luck, Charlie.